Hey everyone, it's Amber, and I have a really fun video to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am working with a beautiful set of cards and envelopes, and this one is Encyclopedia of Rainbows. I picked this up at the Paper Source. I absolutely fell in love with it. And it's all those prints, and you get all these rainbow of colors of envelopes to go with it. And then, of course, all the gorgeous cards. These are just little note cards. They're blank on the inside. And I wanted to do something creative with these instead of just using them as cards and envelopes. So I was thinking I wanted to make some mini albums with these. So I hope that you will stick around and watch the tutorial. I'm going to put one of these together. And I think you can get pretty much two albums out of everything here. You can even get three. You get 20 cards and envelopes. So I think I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial today. Let's go ahead and get started out. So the first thing I want to do is choose the 10 envelopes I want to use. So I just want to get a variety of colors. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that I'm going to choose 10 of these beautiful cards. Okay, so here's all the cards I chose. Um, you saw as I laid them down. Okay, so this is the easiest album ever. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling it now. So I've got my envelopes here, and I'm just going to choose the one that I want to be the cover. So I don't really care. They're all beautiful. I'm just going to choose at random, and I'm just going to go in the order that I have them here. So this is how you put this really easy album together. I've done similar albums on my channel before, and it's so easy. It's a fun way to use a card and envelope set in a more creative way. So here is the first envelope. The cover has like this white framing on the front and we're going to be covering that with a beautiful card, but we're going to put the envelope base together first for the album. So this is the way that you're going to start the first envelope. The flap is pointing to the right, so this is going to be the front of your album. So here's the front cover just like this. So next thing is take the second envelope and here's the back of it where the flap is. Just turn it this way so you've got the front and kind of bend that flap back. What you're going to be doing is sticking the flap like this with the sticky part that you lick right here down and you're going to be sticking it into the first envelope just like this. All the way in there so these little edges are flush with each other. And then it's going to flip over like this and then you have an opening here to do, flip this over, flip that back, your next envelope. And then you're gonna tuck that right in there. So just remember when you flip this over, you're gonna have your opening. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out because we do have to add glue. So let me stick this back up here. And here's our second envelope. So again, here is our second envelope. We're gonna turn it around take that flap, bend it back. So we're gonna add glue to this because we're gonna be sticking it in here and we want it to be permanent. Once you stick it in there and it's all glued down, this is now your pocket right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna use for this is wet glue and I've got these little cute precision bottles and this is art glitter glue in here. Or um, I have some, this one actually might be filled with this one. Um, I'll link, it's just a wet glue. I'll link all these glues below and these little, really cute bottles. You don't want to put too much glue on here because you don't want the pages to bubble or buckle. So I'm just going to add it just like this in a thin bead. So I just added a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can make that out. But there you go. Okay, so now open up this envelope here and you're going to stick that right in there. Make sure it's all the way in so it meets that edge right there and then just kind of press it down. You can get in there with your bone folder if you want. 
Just don't rip this part of your envelope. And then you flip it back and we're gonna do the next one, stick it right in there. So you can kind of see it's already flipping like a cute little album and these could not be easier. So let's do the next one. So you're gonna take your envelope Here's your flap, so turn it around, fold it back like this, add glue to this. Just a very thin bead like that. And then stick that flap into the pocket, scoot it all the way in, and press it down. So now here is your little cute pocket and we've got the next one done. Okay, let's do one more with regular speed and then I'll speed up the rest of them. So here we go, our cute little lavender envelope. Turn it around like this, bend that flap over, add your glue. You could go and get like those 99 cent um, cards and envelope sets at the craft store or Dollar Tree and you could make a mini album out of it. It's so fun. So then we're just going to take our flap and do the same thing. Stick it right in there. Press it down. This morning I so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face So when you come to the front, this is the first envelope that we used and here's the flap of that envelope. This actually becomes the like binding and spine of your book. So what you're going to do is take this flap and wrap it all the way around just like this. So this is going to be the back of your album. It's going to be these like two colors on each other, which is super pretty. So we're actually going to seal this entire thing down. So just add glue to the back here and close this up. And now it's wrapped all the way around your spine and your book is all bound. This is what our album looks like so far. We've got pockets on every single page here. And it's such a beautiful rainbow of colors. I love it so much. And then we're gonna decorate it with the cards. So here's all our pages. It's a 10 page album. So pretty. And then there's the last page. So now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the pretty note cards. Okay, so here's the beautiful note cards that I chose. And I wanna pick the one that I want to be the cover. So, that succulent one is so pretty. Hmm. Let's see, there's a sewing one. That one's so cute. You know what we could do? Oh my goodness, I got the best idea, you guys. I'm gonna make this for my mom, and I'm gonna put this as the cover, and then I'll put some little pictures in there with my Polaroid zip, and we'll decorate it here on camera. And this is so pretty and I could put like with some letter stickers, I could put my my happy place or happy things or something like that because she loves to sew. And then I'll put some pictures of her and my nephews in there or something like that, her grandkids. Okay, so I think that's going to be the cover. So I'm going to put my cover aside and we're going to work on the inside of the album first. So... I'm just going to choose at random which ones go in here, and I think I'm going to use this floral one first. 
So this is going to go right here with an even border all the way around. And the cool thing about this is I'm going to leave it as a note card and we're going to just glue the back down right here. And then this can be opened and this can be a place for tons of journaling or pictures to be glued in here. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use my little adhesive roller. I'll, I'll, I'll try to link these below. I think they were out of stock. I'll check if they have them again, but I got this from scrapbook.com and I'm really enjoying using these smaller ones. You know I'll go back to my ATG gun eventually, but I just kind of enjoy using these little ones. And I like how these ones are. They're very smooth. So I'm just going to cover this with adhesive and just kind of center it right here with that yellow frame all the way around. And just press that down on our album. And then I'll open this and kind of burnish it down with my bone folder. My bone folder has glue all over it. I'm going to go back to my small little bone folder here, if I can find it. Okay, so I need to use this one because that one had glue on it. So here's our first cute little page. Aren't these the most beautiful colors? My mom will love this. So we've got the pink envelope with the pocket here and the yellow matting behind it. And then we've got this page that flips open for tons of pictures and journaling. And then we can flip the page over and put in our next one. Oh my goodness, look at these donuts. Don't those look so good? So that one is next. So again, just add adhesive to the very back of the note card. We're going to utilize these for tons of journaling spots and picture spots. I just love that we can turn a little set of cards and envelopes into a cute mini album. So I'm going to center that the best I can and just press it down. This is such a fun mini. Okay. You could decorate the inside with stickers and washi tape. So now we've got our pocket over here and our little flippy page here. And we're going to go on to our next page. Hey, you guys, I've gotten all the note cards put into our album. It looks so cute. We're gonna do the cover in just a second, but let me show you a quick flip through here. Isn't this so cute? They all open just like this, and all the note cards make this so decorative and artsy and pretty. And there's pockets over here. I think this is so gorgeous and it's I accidentally ripped it right here with my bone folder so it's a good thing this one's going to my mom she won't mind that one bit and then that I just think this is really really cute my mom's gonna love it you could do this with any note card and envelope set that you have so I want to add a closure to this and I'm gonna use this fun pink gingham ribbon for the closure so I'm just going to measure this to where I can tie a bow. So let me cut this off here. And that looks like a pretty good length. So it's gonna just depend on the size of your cards and envelopes, how long you cut your ribbon. So what we're gonna do is, I was gonna pull in this scrap that I had from a Paige Evans collection, but I think what I'm gonna do is steal another card out of here. If I do end up making another album with these, I'll just do like a nine page one. Because I really want this one to be nice and finished. Find a pretty page that will go. I think those tulips are really pretty. We'll do that. Okay, so let me stick this back over here. So what I'm gonna do is take my either scissors, you can take your scissors or your paper trimmer and just cut and just cut the top of the card off. So now we have a pretty little mat that's going to cover the back cover. Same thing for the front cover. 
I'm going to just cut off the front. So now we have a beautiful front cover. So I'm just going to lay some adhesive down along the middle right here where the ribbon's going to go. And just center this. Put the center right there on the spine and then just kind of eyeball where that's going to go. Then we're going to bring it around to this side and add the adhesive strip in the same spot. Right there. Okay. So now that we have our ribbon on here, we can put our front cover on. Ooh, it's going to look so pretty. Look at that. How cute. So I'm just going to add my adhesive. I'm going to add a lot here because it's got to go over that ribbon as well. I just keep getting glue on my mat with this. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to center this on here. Oh my goodness, this is coming along so pretty. You can make any themed album with these envelopes and cards, whatever ones you have. I have some like vintage Mary Inglebright ones, like little card and envelope sets. I would love to make an album out of those. That would look really cute. So there's our front cover. Let's flip it over to the back and add our... Oh my goodness, so here's the back cover. I love how that turned out. And here's the front cover. And we're gonna finish this off with some stickers that I have from this collection. Actually, they're thickers. And what I wanna do is use these. These are like mini little thickers from the Wonders Collection by Paige Evans. And I think I saw the words in here. I think I'm gonna add Happy Things as the title of this album. close the album I love this thing it's so sturdy and it's almost like a brag book you can just throw in your purse give it as a gift to somebody look how cute that looks oh goodness gracious so let's go in here and see what we can do I'm gonna show you my Polaroid zip printer it's so awesome So this is what it is. It's a Polaroid zip and see the little picture right there just coming out. You literally just connect this to the Bluetooth of your phone, which is the easiest thing. It just automatically pretty much does it. And there's just photo paper that comes with this and you can also buy it, you know, refills of the photo paper. There's no ink or anything involved in putting it in here. The paper has the ink in it. And then you just go to your phone, find the picture and it'll this little app will come up on your phone when you connect the Bluetooth and you just print it and it comes out and these are adhesive so I've already printed some pictures and they're right here <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these in to my mom's little album I think this is so fun so here's the pictures I printed um, I'm gonna zoom in 
So I'm just going to go throughout this and put these pictures in. So first of all, here's a really cute one of my mom and my two nephews, so her little grandkids. It's one of my favorite pictures of them. I think it captures such love. It's so sweet. So that one's definitely going in there. And then here's a more recent one. I believe this was either my mom's birthday in April or Mother's Day. And she's got the two grandkids, my little nephews, Brady and Bryson, in her backyard. And so those are just some of the pictures I printed. And I'm going to go ahead and put them throughout this album. I hope that you enjoy this. put all the pictures in that I had printed and I have two spots left so I'm just bringing out my little container here of random die cuts. I have these two journal cards from a Maggie Holmes collection Sunny Days and I think these are really cute and I love this every moment with you is my favorite. I love that. So you can really use anything like I have a ton of Project Life cards and I might stick some in the pockets for her. Um, you can also s decorate these with stickers and washi and die cuts, but I'm just going to leave it simple for the video. Um, but like this one, I think I'm going to stick right here because I want to fill the last two cards that we have as our little flip pages. And... I think it'll look really pretty right there and that way she can add pictures of her own over here or she can journal and then this last page I think I'm going to put every moment with you is my favorite This is such a cute little gift that you can make in no time at all to give to somebody just using a package of cards and envelopes. They don't have to be from, you know, a specialty paper store like I got mine. They can be from Dollar Tree. There's some really cute ones at Dollar Tree that you can get. Um, these ones just happen to have a variety of print and I know you can get those. This would be a great project for those. Uh, crepe paper card sets, American Crafts, that you can get with the paper collections. You could do it with those. So I think this is just a great idea. Or you could just make it with envelopes and use your own decorations on the inside. It's just a very fun, versatile idea that you can take and make your own. So let's do a final flip through of our cute little mini album, Happy Things, for my mom. So you just open it up. And of course, there's little pockets over here and flippy pages on each page. So I, if I was making this for like my Etsy shop or a craft fair, I would definitely, obviously not add pictures, but I would definitely stuff like some Project Life cards in here for extra journaling. But I think for my mom, she can just use this as a memory keeping album and she can stick little things in here like um, memorabilia. So maybe little pictures that my nephews draw or things like that she can stick in the pockets. So I'm just going to leave the pockets empty when I give it to her. But I just think this turned out super cute. I am absolutely loving the colors of our first page. I think it's so bright and pretty. So we're going to open this little flap and there's a picture of my mom and my nephews. She can journal all around it. Add more pictures. And then this page I'm in love with as well with the yummy donuts. 
and there's a picture of me and my mom, my dad, and my brother. So this was taken so many years ago. I'm probably about two or three years old there. So cute. And then here's a picture of my precious nephew, Brady. He had a one-on-one -on -one day with grandma. She was giving him a little painting art lesson. He loves to paint. So does my other nephew. They love to do art with grandma. And then here's this one of my two sisters. I call them my two little bratty sisters. <laughs> so this is Bree. Everybody knows her. She does a lot of guest appearances here on my channel. And then that's my sister Ginger. And she is Brady and Bryson's mom. So she's the middle sister. Bree's the baby. And I'm the oldest sister. And then my brother is older than me. So there's that one. And then I love this succulent card. It's so pretty. And then here's that picture I showed you, 4th of July. I love that picture so much. It's precious. And then here's this pretty one. This is adorable. That's my sister Ginger and her son Bryson. My little baby nephew. Here's a really cute one too. Um, I was at my mom's house on my lunch hour one, and she had my nephews that day, so I love this picture. And then I just added that die cut to this one, and then here's the last one, and it's that really beautiful quote. And then there is our beautiful back cover. And then all we do now is just tie this with this gingham ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby. You can also use seam binding for this. Alright, so there is our cute little album made using the cards and envelopes out of this set here. I will try to find this and link it below for you. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this project and you'll consider making one of these for like maybe a little weekend craft project or just on a gloomy day like I have today where it's just a cozy Saturday and I wanted to do some crafting. I'm going to go make my coffee now, get this video edited. Again, thank you for clicking and watching this video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It helps me out so much and I really appreciate all of your support. All the links are below for all the products and everything else and I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!